Welcome to Mr Chalk's Revision Tips. In this video, we will look at internal energy, change of state, and energy and temperature. Internal energy is a measure of how much energy a substance has. This means that a gas has more potential energy than a solid because there is a greater distance between the particles. So internal energy is equal to the kinetic energy plus the potential energy. When a material is heated or cooled, two changes can happen to the particles within the material. So if chemical bonds between the particles may form or break or stretch, there is a change in the chemical potential energy stored in the material. The material will heat up or cool down as particles within it gain or lose speed. So there is a change in the thermal store of energy within the material. And the internal energy is the total amount of kinetic energy and potential energy of all of the particles in that system. When energy is given to raise the temperature, particles speed up and gain kinetic energy. When a substance melts or boils, energy is put into breaking the bonds that are holding the particles together, which increases the potential energy. The conservation of energy means that assuming no energy is lost to the environment, energy, any energy transferred to a material will be distributed between the chemical store and the thermal store of the internal energy. So whether the energy breaks bonds, increases the speed of particles to stretch bonds, or just increases the speed of particles depends on the temperature and the state of the material. Internal energy is linked to the temperature of matter, but they are <clears throat> the very different things. Internal energy is a measure of the total energy of all of the particles in an object or a substance. This includes the kinetic energy of the particles and the chemical potential energy of the bonds between them. The temperature is a measurement or a measure of the average speed of the particles. This is based on the kinetic energy of individual particles. And heating water, in this example, so heating water causes the water molecules to gain kinetic energy and speed up. It takes more energy to raise the temperature of a large amount of water because more molecules need to have their speed changed. Thanks for watching. 